Hello everyone, my name is Ashton Dias and today you are at Basic Marine Engineering. Today uh, we have one student, my ex-student, his name is uh, Priyesh Naik. He has come all the way to meet me. Actually he is planning to start his own YouTube channel. Uh, he also has his Instagram channel and uh, today I thought like why not have uh, some discussion with him so that you can also learn one or two things from him. And he has been a very hard working student. I guess uh, unless and until you don't put those efforts you do, you cannot achieve what he has done okay so let's try to understand uh, what his story after ims and uh, what he has done to reach there okay priyesh please introduce yourself and um, let our audience know that uh, which rank you are sailing and uh, how your journey has been as sir have discussed my name is priyesh naik i am sailing as third engineer in tom shipping management right now not sailed yet. I'm about to sail day after tomorrow or tomorrow. So in hurriedly, or uh, you can say in very, I requested sir to meet, uh, arrange one meeting so I can start my YouTube channel and to sir's reach on Instagram and YouTube, I can get more audience, a uh, few of sir's audience. So I decided to meet sir first. So I'm sailing in Tom. I'll be sailing in Tom. Before that, I was in MTM and initially I started from Seven Island Shipping Management, where I get placement through the college. Uh, where only four of us will get selected. So sir might be knowing all four of us. So we all four clear our class four. I cleared my class four in first attempt. From that, I switched to MTM. Uh, in MTM, I got promoted as third engineer in the same contract. Uh, and from MTM, now I switched to Tom Shipping Management. Uh, I will also like to mention, she has already mentioned, you know, there were few students who were selected in uh, Seven Islands. In fact, all performed, very uh, many a times what happens is, you know, you get tired of the work or you cannot handle because try to understand this. You have never worked and suddenly you have started a job where it is very, very difficult for you because you have never seen a sea life or you have not never seen a sheep life. And many a times uh, people tend to give away it very easily. You know, they try to sign off. Uh, they might find some reasons like medical reasons and some other reasons. But, uh, you know, they try to escape from it. But there are some people who will fight with it. You know, whenever you have difficult scenarios, you are faced with two options. Okay, either you face them or you run away from them. He has worked very, very hard, and because of those, uh, you know, because of those hours and because of that hard work, he got the fruit by, uh, you know, by getting it cleared in just one attempt. And I would appreciate that. And I want my students and my audience also to work in that manner. No doubt, obviously, you might be working on that. But if somewhere you need some motivation, just remember there are people who are doing it in first attempt. There was another friend of mine who also did it like that, you know, Vishnu, he did it very well. And, uh, you know, it all depends on how to work. Many a times it looks uh, unreachable. That goal reach looks like unreachable. It looks like in enormous, but it is possible. Uh, you can mention some of the work which you did on board during that time. Seven Islands, especially when you were a junior, you know, amount of work which you put you can just mention in brief maybe sir i'm getting many messages or like many questions on instagram basically asking about semi islands especially our ims cadets those who are getting selected or will be getting selected so working in semi island was a very beautiful journey it was hard but it was good i sailed on three three of their vessels and i did three riders on all three vessels so you cannot expect any work timings over there there will be always emergency the work uh, working environment was good it all depends on the people with whom you work and the thing uh, that uh, the ships are all 25 or 20 years 30 years old so they will keep the vessel up till 25 and then they will hand over the vessel to the gulf people so until then unless it is 25 or plus you have to work on that vessels people working in seven islands are very good especially the fitters oilers they are vastly experienced that they are better than us to be honest in practical aspects they don't know the theoretical aspect but the practical aspects i learned from them was way better than any of the people i have worked till now so if you got opportunities smaller companies they are offering small salaries but initial stages it's very good to start from the small companies rather than jumping directly to the big companies where you will not realize how you switch the companies but you will not realize that the culture of working is totally different and the paperwork will be totally different in Seven Island, there was paperwork. It's similar to the bigger companies, ITF companies. But the thing is, we don't get time to do the paperwork. So the paperwork was secondary. Primary was emergency always. So you had to be prepared. And that helped me a lot 
uh, that boosted my confidence so i can appear in any shipping company interview or anyone if anyone ask me question i got a certain amount of experience to answer that question in technical ways so even though he has answered many interview companies you know it is somewhat easy because he has done a lot of work on it and obviously you know people who are sitting for the interview whenever they ask you some questions it only you can answer it only very well you know when you have done that, that kind of work and uh, only and until you put your hands into it you will not remember and you will not understand the work many at times uh, you know many of the students or many of the uh, people who are there watching right now we might think like you know if i just observe that i can understand i can remember believe me from my experience and from all the others who have communicated and from i have heard you know unless and until you put your hands into the job you will not remember and you will not gain that experience you might hear something you know but that is far far different a person who can overall things and who can understand it himself and you overall and you run that machine you can actually breathe in with that machine you can understand by its all its parameters you can understand the difference what has happened what was the condition earlier what is the condition now you can make a huge difference in your in your understanding and in your you know analytics what you are trying to analyze the machine okay I want to so make sure you work hard the smaller companies in smaller companies you will be always prepared for the next level because they give you opportunity even if even though if they don't give opportunities just shoulder rack it is for junior just shoulder rack whenever anyone is working nearby just shoulder rack they will definitely call you to clean up but in that way you can learn and in bigger companies i have seen where i worked in two bigger companies where the cadets are totally handled like a kid like a child where they are not allowed to work much they are only for paperwork but in working in smaller companies you are not a child anymore you are like a man you have to work on this machineries you have to do cleaning mopping after that you have to do paperwork of chief engineer and coming back after chief chief engineer you have to help the senior engineers in their work so bet best way to start your career is small company that's what i suggest uh, very true actually not just smaller companies suppose let's say in a company there is some old ship i'll tell you what you can learn in a old ship you can't learn in a new ship uh, you might be able to clear exams very well but uh, that will not give you that experience what gives you experience for future is when you have worked on a old ship when you have worked on a difficult ship and you have understood how to repair it and how to overhaul that machine and how to bring it back to its original or running condition and uh, you will not realize it now but when you reach on a higher rank it is much better if you have difficult ships and uh, old ships when you are at a lower rank because that is the time you don't have to worry much above you there is second engineer chief engineer you know you don't have to worry about those things you just have to refer the manual understand the manual understand your senior what your seniors are telling and reproduce that and produce that or maybe overall in that manner and that is going to give you result but what experience you'll get when you have worked and overhauled all those machines at a lower ranks you know will give you immense confidence and doesn't matter what kind of emergency comes or what kind of uh, difficult scenario comes you will able to tackle and you will have that strength to you know handle the scenarios many of you right now might be you know getting scared to apply even for a new company thinking are i have a answer how i will do this you know what question they might ask but when you have worked so much and when you have uh, you know done that kind of uh, overhauling and that kind of uh, actual work with your own hands you will definitely be confident enough you will be confident enough to overhaul and you know talk to anyone about it why have chosen him to speak you know i myself have done lot of overhauling and other things but during our time things were different and uh, nowadays i see many of the students or many of the youngsters Uh, they only have seen uh, you know the good part of shipping like yes, the right. traveling part you know you see reels about uh, only how to travel how to make money then parties on board parties on board you know but that is not their real life and uh, i would like to ask priyesh you know actually priyesh wants to start his youtube channel and uh, let him speak about it because it was his idea to bring something genuine to the table so priyesh why don't you tell us what you want to include on your youtube channel so my youtube channel is basically will be focusing basically on what is marine engineering and the seamen's life through my daily blogs or whenever i get time so it will focus on how we overhaul the machineries how we plan the jobs how we survive in the rolling rough weather how we do the major overhauls 
and how we go for show live. Also, I will include that. I will also include the good part, and I will mostly focus on the raw footages. And uh, the main thing, why we are going on board? We are going on board to earn money, not to roam around the world and uh, spend all of the savings. We do go for show live, but not thinking in such a way that we will spend all our money in show live. We are planning. We are joining this field to earn and to do something good at home. So this my channel Momento Mary will be focusing mostly on the raw footages and the real life of the seamen, which uh, you will not see or you will not realize or you will see in the other channels. But it will be totally different. It is a raw footage. I will post a basic videos and ex expect support from my friends, my followers, as well as Estensas uh, Basic Marine Engineering page followers. So I specially came to the sir. Uh, to ask for support and help to how to create the YouTube channel. Uh, many a times, you know, uh, I see Instagram videos. Uh, no doubt, it is not good. It is very good uh, to show the good side and the good part of shipping. But many a times, when new youngsters, you know, young blood who wants to join shipping, they get mesmerized with those things and uh, they assume that that is the part of shipping. Like you know, they don't. They are not able to understand that. There is also a difficult side for shipping, which is hard work, which is there. Then the second part, which is there, is staying away from your family. Um, it is not easy, you know. Telling here, it's very easy. I'm not saying the people who are showing those videos are not good. Actually, they are very good, and uh, it's good to have some fun. But make sure you also follow some channels and uh, see some content, uh, which is actually showing you the other side also, you know. So that you just don't uh, join shipping, thinking like you know that uh, my life will be roaming around the world. Many a times, there are ships, you know, which don't get show live at all. If you go on VLCC, many a times you cannot see the port also. So this is what actually he wants to bring to the table, and uh, this is what uh, what he wants to show to you all. The I want reality. to add up one thing. Uh, I met few cadets. I sailed on total five five vessels till now. I met two three cadets. I won't take the name. So those cadets were like solely into the real things on Instagram. They were like when they came on board, they didn't know what is piston, what is a generator, what is compressor. They only know the life how people show on Instagram reels. How fun, how we do parties, how we navigate. They only know the deck side life. Deck side is not difficult, not easy. It is also difficult, but thing. Our life is very difficult in engine side, where we have to work in 60 plus degree temperature, where we have to work with heavy noise and immense pressure. With very, uh, to be honest, most of the shipping companies will give less manpower to the engine side as compared to the deck side, because they try to re reduce the manpower. So we will get only two motor men, one DME, or only two motor men, direct fourth, third, and second. So this is mostly the ITF companies they are doing like this, which I faced. And one funny thing that I plan to switch from semi island to the bigger company, thinking that I will get little little relief. But when I joined, uh, skipped from semi island to one of the bigger company, the work level was increased to the hundred x. I can say hundred x because the manpower was so short. We were having only two Filipino motormen, me, third, second, and chief. Only six seven people group. So we had to, and the vessel was chemical tanker, pure chemical. And the bunker tanks were in forward, so I had to do work of cadet, TME, uh, sorry, cadet, third, fourth engineer, and the third was senior, and he was about to get promoted. So he said, "You learn my work." So I was doing all three ranks work, and it was hundred x more work as compared to my previous semi company. So don't be in such impression that jumping through the companies will reduce your work. The work will be same, only the culture will change. So since you have mentioned about companies, you have shifted to many companies. Give give uh, give our audience a slight uh, you know input on how you manage to change them, okay. and uh, what uh, what they should have in mind when they are thinking of changing over from one company to another company. So changing companies is not rocket science. It's basically they have demand, they will take you. If they don't have demand, they will keep your documents. Uh, they will take your interview. They will keep you on hold, or they will give you some courses. Like there are management companies will give you courses, and they will keep you on hold. But they will make sure you will join the vessel in some time. But uh, some companies, uh, they will hire you as soon as possible. Only if you have all the documents. Like especially companies are asking U.S. visa. This is most uh, critical thing these days. If do, if you don't have U.S. visa, you'll be in short list. You'll be in like merits. You'll be on last. So they will ask you to do U.S. visa. That will waste your time or one and a half month. So second thing, if you are appearing for interviews, you 
keep your keep your happy smile on your face before appearing to interviews second there is one site known as uh, cjobs.net where you place your resume uh, there will many companies will be calling there are also fraud companies on that site but you have to sort out which companies are better and there are always email websites of every company and there is one marex uh, magazine where you get all the company detail and all the required vacancy they have on that in that month so go through the uh, recent magazines of marex okay um i guess if you really want to know more you can comment down below um we can uh, he might type uh, and reply to you or he might make another video on that you know that's what he wants to do in his channel or uh, you know you can go to momento we'll put a link below down you can just go to the uh, youtube channel and try to subscribe and uh, try to the share share also and uh, comment basically what yes. you want to know more automatically uh, he's he's going to understand he might not do it very instantly but he will plan that job or plan that youtube uh, video you know it's not easy when we are working and uh, you want to generate some uh, youtube for your audience it's not easy but he will uh, obviously so do hope you have enjoyed this content if you are still to now uh, please make sure you hit the like button at least we'll try to keep a target of 50 likes so hit that like button and uh, till my video or his next video be subscribe keep following us and best of luck for your future see Thank you guys you. best of luck